All right, guys, we got a Reaper Bones Frost Worm, and I have some turquoise here, and I'm going to base paint it with the turquoise. I'm going to make it pretty wet, almost kind of doing a wash. One thing I did find out, though, is that the wash uh, doesn't stick very well to the plastic figure, so I kind of added more paint as I went, and uh, yeah, so kind of a learning process there. All right, cool. Now I'll let that dry up. Now I'm going to add some dark blue, like a navy blue to the uh, carapace on the back of the head. So paint that in. It has a pretty interesting uh, head uh, carapace. Cool. Now that's done, I'm going to start painting the belly and uh, the belly scales. And the lore of this thing is that it's kind of heated inside. If you hit it, you can get squirted with its like kind of hot blood. Uh, and uh, I wanted to, to kind of show that uh, physically on the model. And a lot of uh, artists uh, render it this way, so I thought it'd be cool to kind of imitate that. So I'm doing the scales uh, red, the uh, belly red, and then I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to that. Cool. And now I'm going to start adding some uh, cobalt blue to the uh, the fins, the fins on the side of the head here. As you can see, I'm really adding quite a few different colors here. Kind of getting everything base painted. So you got some interesting color there. Very bright. Now I'm going to start adding white after that dries. And, well, it's not quite dry, actually. I'm going to pull the white into the wet uh, paint. And so it kind of automatically blends itself, right? That's kind of a neat technique. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice, but if you, once you uh, work on it a bit, it really looks cool. So I'm just kind of dragging from the edge there. And I'm doing this little hair tuft under the head. I'm going to paint that the cobalt blue, too. All right, cool. Now I'm going to paint the interior of the mouth this kind of cherry red. And now I've got my yellow, and this, the belly scales have dried, so I'm going to kind of pull up, uh, do a dry brushing technique and pull up on the scales. and uh, So the edges of the scales will be the lighter yellow, and then it'll go into the darker uh, scale, the top of the scale. So that gives a nice kind of heat effect there, I think. Which is very, uh, very, um, you know, uh, like the creature. Cool. Okay, now I have this sea foam green. I'm going to paint the beard a little bit with it, kind of mix it into the blue a little bit. So it's a little bit different color than the uh, the fins. Cool. Now I've got my navy blue back, and I'm going to start uh, kind of painting the tips of the claws and the legs. And this will give a nice variation in color, actually. Cool. Almost simulate like one color fading into another. Nice. Got all the legs. Now I'm doing this uh, gloss black for the eyes. And it's, a, it's nice because it's a, it's a gloss acrylic black, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to use some white and paint uh, in the center there because there's some snow. The uh, worm is coiled up on some snow, and I'm going to paint the snow. I left a little bit of the blue to sh show through. And then I'm going to start uh, uh, hitting the tips of the claws with the white also. Gives a neat effect. Now I'll start doing the carapace on the back. And see how the details are really popping out now, where you highlight it. If it's just one color, you don't really see it very well. But if you put a highlight on there, it really pops out the detail. Doing the teeth, the maw, the scales. Nice. Or the carapace. Nice. Do all the legs and arms.
little more detail on the uh, on the edge of the uh, frill there. And I'm going to do the teeth in the mouth very carefully. Nice. I'm going to use a little bit of a lighter blue on the fin and uh, that'll uh, give it some nice color variation. A little bit of blue. It's a lighter blue. So it kind of goes from white to light blue to dark blue. Nice. Or darker blue, I should say. Nice. Okay, now I'm going to kind of dry brush the scaling on the worm here. So I'll just go over it, dry brush it. You can really see that detail starting to pop out. This, this, these kind of steps make a huge difference in the look of the miniature. So very cool. So it's looking good, looking good. It may not be professional quality, but I call this table table ready or table quality. And so it looks good on the table, but you know you put it on the camera, you know it's not going to probably not going to win a competition. But it's definitely ready for your table. Cool. Just doing some highlights with the white. Retouching some of the fin to give it the higher or brighter white on the edge edges there on the end. Cool. Really coming together. I really like the color, uh, the differences in the colors, the you know, the colder blues and the warmer reds and yellows. I'm going to do some blue on the end of the tail just for a little last thing. All right, cool. Looking great. So let's go to the table and take a closer look. So here he is right next to Roderick. You can see how big this beastie is and uh, pretty cool. I really like the Reaper sculpt. It's really nice. Pretty cool. And you see, on the mouth, I did put some uh, gloss in the mouth, but I didn't put anything else on it. Uh, so just some really nice detail. The coloring is just really interesting, really pops. Uh, these bones are really easy just to paint right on. You don't have to base them or anything. I didn't base it. I just painted acrylic craft paint right on it. Yeah, these are acrylic craft paints. These aren't, uh, you know, special model paints or anything. But, you know, I think I got a pretty decent uh, jo uh, paint job there. So, cool. Hope you guys really enjoyed this. Hey, I want to talk to, talk to you about uh, when I used it at my table. It was really fun. Let's hit that. So here I am. Uh, some my uh, party was... Uh, my player party was captured by some ice trolls and the, they thought the ice trolls were going to eat them but they were actually capturing them to feed them to the frost worm so yeah they got captured wake up and yeah the frost worm comes in to devour them so it's a big pitch battle what a great centerpiece for the battle looks really really cool uh, just fantastic so hope you really enjoyed this episode and uh, I'll see you next time with some more Scotty stuff yeah Hey guys, let's go ahead here. We're going to kill this ice worm. Okay, follow me. Hey, hey, where'd everybody go? Oh, jeez. Do I have to kill this thing again? Oh, my gosh. Why is it always me that has to do it? Oh, jeez. I know I shouldn't have got these dumb retainers. Ugh.